Okay, so this is the triangular bee escape. You can see that it actually has a triangular shape on the bottom. There are places where the bees can come out of these little corners. There's three of them. And the bees enter in through this hole here on the top. And then as they find their way down onto this screen surface, they can no longer go backward once they come out of these holes, right? So they come into that center hole, congregate under here, find their way through these exits, and then from then on, they can't, they naturally do not go backward and up through that hole. So once they're in this section of the bee escape, our job is done. And we can pull the supers. All right, so obviously, this hole and this side of it has to face the bees in the super. This side faces the colony. You'll see how I do it. Okay, so I mentioned that I'm going to put two bee escapes on here. I'm going to put one down here and one up here. So this is going to require that I remove all the supers and then put them back. All right, so it's a little bit of work to use a triangle bee escape, but it's very kind on the bees, and it uh, it does a really good job of getting all the bees out of the sweepers. So, watch my technique. top super and put it on my super horse, which is behind me. That's, that's fairly light. It has about three or four clumps on it. got headbutted by the bees, so I'm going to give him a little smoke, see if I can get agreement with them that I can take the honey. Okay, this one's full. You can see a super horse makes it fairly easy for me to manipulate these, these full supers. I don't have to put them down on the ground. You can't see the devices behind me, but it's a, it's a they call it a super horse. It's just a platform, mine has wheels on it, that you can actually roll around the bee yard and use it wherever you're working on boxes. You don't have to bend over and take full supers uh, down to the ground and try to lift them. This one is full. That was a frame that was stuck on the bottom box. So we've got one more box to take out. All right, so now it's the first bee escape. Now this queen excluder. I'm still getting headbutted by bees, so I'm going to give them a little bit more smoke their first warning, it's kind of a gentle one, uh, head button. I'm seeing some brood in these in these supers, so that's not a good thing. I don't like that idea. <clears throat> so there's a laying queen up here somewhere, or queen got through the queen excluder. That happens, and um, I didn't expect that, but that does occur. And I'll have to see if the bees leave these supers, because if there's brood in there, they won't. So again, Pull up, put it here, and then just return these supers. I'll show you what I mean by there's some brood in there.
So actually that's a fair amount of brood. That's way more brood than you really want in your honey supers. So there's a queen in here and she got in here. Um, who knows how? Oh, but there's, she's still in here because there's eggs in these cells and there's uh, larva. So she's in here somewhere. Um, could look for her and try to find her. She's probably down in this lower box. I'm gonna pull a few more frames to see if I can actually snag her and then I'll, I'll put her below the queen excluder. So as I mentioned, I'm going to put another bee escape now on, on these boxes. So I'm going to put that inner cover back on. And that's it. Now I don't expect the bees to leave these supers completely where there's brood. So when I come back here, there will be bees that funnel down through into the brood box and will not be able to come back up. They'll collect under this bee escape first, then they'll find their way down. I'll pull these two and then um, shake the bees into this cover, into this escape, and then I'll come back and I'll harvest these two. But I expect when I come back, since there's brood, the queen got through here and laid up in some supers that the bees will not leave those. The normal operation for a bee escape is pretty straightforward. You put the bee escape on, the bees leave the super at night, go down to the main brood nest, and they never come back up. And you're almost guaranteed to have 95% uh, of your bees out of here. And what's left is to just shake out. So that's it. Um, Hopefully you enjoyed this little section. Hopefully you uh, learned a little bit about triangular bee escapes and how to apply them. Of course, if there weren't four supers on here, I would only require one, uh, one bee escape. But I just played it safe by putting two on. So, thanks for watching.